One other question that I want to address a little bit because I think it needs to be talked about. Um, someone wrote to me and just made a harsh statement and said, hey, your people talking about, you know, Christians, people that claim to be Christians are judgmental and hypocritical and some of the meanest folks I've ever met. Uh, that was what they just felt like they wanted to tell me. And that's fair. Uh, you know, we have a right to our opinion. That's that's a fair, honest, genuine, sincere thing that we all have to work through. And I honestly, I respect there again, I respect anyone that's willing to, you know, be sincere. And, and they did it privately and was I, I honestly loved it. And um, but I do want to speak about that for a minute. Um, the truth is, every person is a hypocrite to some degree. It's just the truth. It, it's just the reality of it. Uh, no person is is 100 <clears throat> percent just walking the straight and narrow of any path, you know, the Christian path or any other path that we claim. Everyone to some degree is hypocritical and everyone to some degree is going to miss the mark of whatever perfection they're aiming for. Um, second of all, the Bible is very, very, very clear, uh, not only about um, the leaders in the scriptures that were just good moral men and women, but it's extremely honest in exposing the hypocrisy and the um, the sins that great men and women of God, like great leaders in the scriptures, made bad decisions, and they were not perfect. And so, um, you know, the Bible does not shy away from shining a light on the fact that you know, God's people, Christians are, are not perfect. Um, and I want to take it a step even further and say this is the whole reason that uh, we become Christians is because we get to a place in our life where we admit and realize that, hey, I'm sinful, like I'm a sinner and I'm not good enough to earn my way to heaven. Like, my way to God, like being right with God is not, it's literally not possible because I cannot keep all these laws and I can't walk the straight and narrow path and I can't keep it 100 all the time because I'm, I'm sinful. I'm broken. There's something in me that just, just does wrong and is just enticed uh, um, to do sinful things. And so you get to a point where you're like, I can't save myself, God. I cannot be good enough. I can't earn my way to heaven. Like I need a savior. And at that point, that's when Christians got to a place where they realized, like, I'm, I am a hypocrite. I can't keep all these do's and don'ts. Like, I'm not good enough. And because of that, please save me, Jesus. Like, please let what you did on the cross count for me. And so in a place of realizing how hypocritical we are, we turn to God and accept his love and grace and his payment for our sins because we can't pay for them ourselves. And so the whole essence of becoming a Christian is, is actually realizing and admitting what what this person said is hey we're we're not we are not perfect we're not we can't be no one can and so um it's 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 unfortunate yes that people who have known God and walked with Jesus a long time still speak the way they did and and do things that they did before they ever met the love of God and still you know act no different than they did before they met Jesus, and and those people, it's it is. I question if they if they genuinely have faith in Jesus, because you know your life over time walking with the Lord, you're supposed to mature, and the Bible is very clear on this. That you know, whenever you become a Christian, you're basically a child in your faith, and you're immature in your faith, and you have to learn to walk, and you have to learn to stand on your own, and you have to learn to you know, speak. The, you have to learn how to do, you know, you have to learn how to, to walk and grow and mature in this thing. And and I, I agree. Uh, there are, you know, a lot of people who have, that are older and been Christians a long time that, that, that act no different than they did before they met him 30 years ago or whatever. But here's the other thing. It's, it's hard for us to judge and to know. I mean, who are we to, to know? Like, how do you know that person that you're talking about who's hypocritical didn't just become a Christian and they're they're young, immature babies in Christ and they don't we don't know where they're at in their journey. We don't know what they're going through. Just like I don't know what you're going through, just like you don't know what I'm going through. And and if you watch me long enough, I'm gonna disappoint the heck out of you. Um, not because I want to, 
but because I'm human and I'm going to let you down. And, and that's why I need God. That's why I need to be very close to forgiveness and his love and his grace, because I am a mess. Um, it's just the way it is. So yes, you join a church, there's going to be people there. They're going to let you down. Uh, you join a small group, there's going to be people there. They're going to be human. And if you have expectations that these sheep are supposed to be as good as the shepherd, you're going to be highly disappointed because all of us, every Christian, every person of any religion is going to be hypocritical to some degree. So I'm not making excuses for anyone. All I can say is don't hang your eternity on the performance of other people. Like if you believe in God and you believe that um, God is real and that the Bible is real and that it's a possibility that it's true, um, then I would highly encourage you to not risk your eternity on the fact that some people who claim to be Christians are not living up to what they say. I would actually challenge you to... Um, push through that fear. And um, if you really believe in God and that the Bible's true, then then you know that what it says about eternity is true. And don't let the hypocrisy of, of what you see in other people keep you from doing what you believe you should do. Um, but I wouldn't risk it. I wouldn't, I wouldn't blame someone else on my choice in my eternal state. So, um, cause no matter what they do, you still got to answer for what you've done or not done. And that's a scary thought, and that's not to put fear in you, but it is because it's true. You know, it's Christians are not perfect, and and unperfect, imperfect Christians are going to go to heaven uh, for eternity because the blood of Jesus has paid for their sins, not because they were good enough. And that's just it's that simple. Um, but it's not simple. It, it, it's a it's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot to uh, learn and read about and understand. And there was a lot of pain that 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 brought about this great, simple grace gift that we have called salvation. But um, yeah, just don't don't throw the baby out with the bathwater, essentially. Christians are going to be hypocrites. As long as you're alive and you're watching humans, no matter what they claim, they're not going to be perfect. So don't, don't hang or don't base what you decide to do regarding God or Jesus on what other peoples have done with him. You have to decide for yourself and put your faith in what you want to do it. But but I just encourage you, don't blame or, or accuse or, or expect, even expect that others are going to um, live up to what you expect them to live up to. And and lastly, um, yeah, just, just don't do that because we're going to keep letting you down. And then one day it'd be too late for you to make your decision on that for you. So anyways, love you guys. Hope you had a good day. I'm sweating because it's hotter than it's hot. Peace.